everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a pen holder using the Bloom on Wonder paper pad from Tunecraft. So let's get started. In today's tutorial I'm showing you how to make this origami pen holder using just some good quality paper and the glue. For today's project I'm using the first edition Bloom and Wonder paper pad from Trincraft. I'm using two sheets of paper with this animal print pattern on one side and lines and spots on the other. I cut uh, the 12 by 12 inches paper into 6 squares measuring 6 by 6 inches. Take your paper square and score at uh, 3 inches. This is the middle of, the, of your square. 4.5 inches and 1.5 inches. Rotate and score only the sides uh, at 1.5 inches and 4.5 inches. Do the same with the other squares. Now we need to create this sort of triangular shape. In order to do so, you need to take your scored paper and fold the corners. So you will fold all the four corners towards the intersection of the score lines. Then fold the top and bottom flaps. If you remember, we only scored uh, the center line on one side of the square. So when you fold the flaps, the center score line should not be visible. Turn and fold all the score lines. In order to create a triangular element, insert one side into the other. So you tuck the corners then push them together slowly. So again you fold, tuck the corners and slowly push together. Mm -hmm. 
You need to make six of these. Then you start gluing them together. So take two elements, add some glue or strong double sided tape. and glue them together. The diamond shape should always be visible as this is the front side, so don't add glue on it. Repeat the process with the other uh, elements. If it seems easier for you, you can assemble three elements at a time, so you'll only have two parts to glue together in the end. Now we need to create the bottom of the pen holder. So take a piece of paper and use a pencil to trace the shape on it. You'll end up having something like this. When you cut out the shape, don't forget to add an extra half an inch like a frame around it. So cut out the shape Then cut a notch on every corner Fold the flaps This is the base of your pen holder and you will need to glue it to the bottom uh, of the pen holder. If it doesn't fit perfectly, you can always adjust it by making the notches a bit uh, longer. This is the finished project. If you wish, you can embellish it and you can use it to store your handy tools or pens. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. See you next time. Happy crafting!